Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little, and today I'm going to share with you a new feature of the Float the Turn Push Fold app. So here's the app, you can get it at jonathanlittlepoker.com slash app, or you can go to floattheturn.com and go to the um, tool section and just navigate down to the app, and it'll be right there. Also, it is available on the iTunes and Android app store, so you can have it on your phone. And... Here we have it. So the first part of the app, which has been here for quite a while now, is the push fold chart, the first, the, the top half of this screen. So imagine we're on the button with six big blinds with a 12.5% ante, which at, uh, let's say, 200, 400, normally there's a 50 ante in a lot of tournaments. So 50 is 12.5% of the big blind. So that's what that means. As you see, we have a few other ante options. And let's say there are 10 people at the table. If they fold to you on the button, these are the hands you should go all in with. And this is a very nice strategy to use in general, especially once you have about 12 big blinds or less. Now, if you start to have more chips, like as you see, we can make this, let's say, 20 big blinds. You see it says we can profitably shove these hands, which is true. The problem is, though, that often playing... Some of your hands in other ways is better. Like, for example, maybe you want to min raise with your best hands or even limp with some of your hands. You're going to generally find that if you use a strategy of limping some hands and raising some hands and going all in with some hands, that's going to allow you to play a few more hands. So I definitely do not suggest you use the app unless your opponents are really great when you have more than about 13 or 14 big blinds. So with 12 big blinds on the button, if they fold to you, you should be going all in with these hands. If you are not, you are making a mistake unless there's some sort of payout implication going on in the tournament. Like if you're on the bubble, then maybe you should be shoving wider or tighter, but that kind of thing is really difficult to input into a simple application like this. So the app is mainly useful in non-bubble scenarios. And we're actually going to have an update coming soon that's going to be useful at the final table given various payouts that tournaments use. So anyway, here's what we would do from the button with our 12 big blind stack. Now let's say... We're playing in a live poker tournament, and we fold on the button. We get jack-5 offsuit, so we fold. Okay, next hand, instead of having to fiddle around with the app like you have to do with a lot of the other poker apps out there that charge you money to use them, <laughs> our free app, you just have to click Next, and it takes you to the next spot. And then let's say we fold this because we get queen-8 offsuit. Next hand, we go here to the hijack. And as you see, you can cl keep clicking Next, and eventually you're going to get around to under the gun, and then you go into the big blind. You can't shove the big blind because um, if they fold to you, you just win the pot. So here we are now. And as you see, the app moves you down automatically to 11 big blinds and the small blind. Then you click next again. Now you go down to 10 big blinds on the button. This shows that you are losing chips because you just took the blinds, right? You don't actually have to go around and um, fiddle around with these drop down menus, which is very nice because when you're playing live poker, you can just have this sitting on your rail or on your lap and you can... Um, figure out your shoving range before the hand is dealt, and then you can just look at it and know what to do very quickly and very easily. Let's say we do shove on the button with queen nine offsuit and everyone folds. We steal, right? So now what's going to happen? Try to think about it. Well, we're going to move to the cutoff, and we're going to go up two big blinds. So we steal. We go up to two big blinds, and now we're in the cutoff. Let's say we steal again. We're up to 14 big blinds in the hijack seat. So as you see, this is incredibly useful for playing, especially live poker, and you can get the app completely for free at jonathanlittlepoker.com slash app. So now we recently added the call section down here at the bottom. Let's just take a look at it briefly. Call an all-in from the hijack for 14 big blinds against these players with these ranges. So a few things to make, make known here. This assumes the opponent is shoving for 14 effective big blinds, which often is somewhat difficult to it's, it's difficult to know what the effective big blind is when people are shoving because let's say someone so let's say this player is going all in for 14 big blinds but everyone yet to act has six big blinds well he's actually only shoving for six big blinds because that's what everyone else has um imagine instead you have let's say 14 big blinds and someone self shoves for 20 big blinds you may think that the, for, the effective stack is 14 big blinds but if he's shoving his 20 big blind stack into let's say a bunch of 30 big blind stacks He's actually shoving for more than your 14 big blinds, right? So you have to be kind of careful with these calling ranges. And I was actually really hesitant to even make a calling range chart because I know a lot of people will get themselves in trouble with these and use them incorrectly. 
Let's take a look at a somewhat common spot. Let's say we are in the small blind. Oh, let's say we're on the button. And let's say we have 10 big blinds, right? Again, we are there are no payout implications. Let's say under the gun goes all in. These are the hands we should call with for 10 big blinds, assuming, it's a very important assumption, your opponent is shoving optimally. Again, when your opponents get to make a decision, that should drastically change what you do. If the opponent is shoving, let's say, only aces and kings because he's not a good poker player, well, then clearly you don't want to call with all these hands because you're going to be super dominated. It would be a very big mistake. But if your opponent is shoving optimally, these are the hands you should call with. Um, say the shove comes from the cutoff, we should actually call quite wide. Now, another problem with a lot of apps or push fold charts is that they show all of the hands that are profitable, okay? Very often in a tournament setting, the hands on the cusp of the range, the hands on the bottom, are very, very marginally profitable, like 0.001 big blind per 100 hands, like almost nothing. And when you have a situation that is effectively neutral, you certainly want to avoid them. So as we see here, you can profitably call with pocket threes and jack 10 suited and a seven offsuit. But in reality, I would definitely fold those in tournaments, especially if you thought you had an edge and you are like getting anywhere near the money. Like say there's 30 people remaining and 15 get paid, you should definitely be folding some of the hands at the bottom of this range because you are somewhat likely to get a cash, even if you are short, and you don't want to just find yourself in neutral scenarios. So when calling, you should very often shave off the bottom part of this range. Um, I mentioned earlier that if the opponents are really tight, you should fold a lot more hands than what is listed here. If the opponents are very loose, they're jamming incredibly wide, well now you can call off much wider. So anyway, that's how to use the calling ranges. Let's um, let's put ourselves in the small blind. You'll see now that we actually have even more hands we can call with. They extend down below. If you're using your phone, you can just scroll down. You'll see them there. Unfortunately, we are um, punished because phones are not big enough to display all of this information, but it is what it is. So anyway, as you can see, this is what you will call with from the small blind. And from the big blind, now you can see these are the hands that you would call with facing uh, so call an all-in from the big blind for 10 big blinds against these players. So if you're in the big blind with 10 big blind stacks with a 12.5% ante, you can call with all of these hands. So say the small blind shoves, you should actually call quite wide, as you see, 56% of hands, assuming you want to call in all break-even scenarios. Again, you should probably shave off some of the bottom of this, this, this range and maybe call with like 45% of hands, give or take. So that's it. That's the Float the Turn app. There's also a quiz feature. Make sure you check out my next video for that. I'm going to show you how to actually test yourself to see if you are playing well. Um, again, you can get the app completely for free in the iTunes or Android app store, also at jonathanlillipoker.com slash app, and also on Float the Turn, just navigate to the tool section. We have a lot of free tools there. I'm trying to do everything I can to give you free access to material that is available that a lot of people want you to pay for, but we're trying to give it for free because I want you all to get better at poker. So anyway, make sure you use these resources. They are great. I try to make them easy to use. Like I said, you can use this at the poker table, no problem. And um, yeah, so that's it. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you next time.